Hello, the Darkness 344 here. And in today's video, I'll be showing this um, additional module that I've added to my ARU to um, do bit shifting, rotating, and all that kind of stuff. So, it, in my last video, I showed off this ARU, and over here, I've um, I've added some registers onto it, and this just means that um, we can input data using the registers as well as output data from the ARU back into the registers, and this design um, will be for one of my upcoming computers, and yes, I don't actually have, I haven't actually made the instruction set yet, but I have some plans, which which is a bit silly of me, because I, I really should um, have made the instruction set first before building, but um, anyway, this module over here actually makes the ALU um, better, well good, actually working, because the one problem with this ALU was that it was missing right shift and right shift is actually um, an essential um, command for your ALU you actually do need this so this module over here allows you to do um, all the shifting and I'll talk about what it can do in a minute so over here was the ALU that I showed off and I have done a few simple modifications um, to make that and it's, it's basically just moving this as well as the output inverters just so I could um, um, move around like the timings and stuff just to make it a bit see I've, I've moved one here instead of here and I've kind of I don't know if I moved this at all but it just means um, the timing wise I could hook it up to the registers a bit easier so the way this um, works is that you have just different control wires and um, we get the input from the A registers over here and the output will just go back from the it'll, it'll join onto the ALU output and it can go back into the registers inputs um, to be saved so it's a very small module I guess it's, it can be smaller it's, it was a quick one I designed and much like the one of my previous videos where I showed off the right shifter module um, just a similar design to this where I think this is um, yeah right shift all you're basically doing is moving um, the bits um, down so for example as you can see uh, this line gets moved down to this line over here and this line gets moved down to the line below and that's just uh, a right shift of one and so this module um, does all of that basically so over here we have um, what the module can actually do so I wanted it to be pretty much fully compatible with most things so it can do um, your logical left and right shifts of course and that's just um, shifting um, left or right by one um, and that means um, any bits that were shifted out are lost and any bits that are shifted in are just zeros, it'll shift in zeros. Um, arithmetic left and right shift um, I like the logical left and right shifts except that um, say it's shifted right if the number was signed for instance if it had a, a one over here um, and was shifted right down by one instead of this being replaced by a zero because it's um, just getting where a logical um, right shift would do that um, it will still keep the sign which is a one and this is um, quite essential um, for shifting or dividing negative numbers especially um, so yeah you can do left and right shift I'm, I'm pretty sure the arithmetic left shift is pretty much the exact same as the logical left shift so it doesn't really matter too much then we have uh, rotation so we can left rotate and right rotate and you see this no carry and then with carry and what this basically means is that when you um, want to rotate a number whatever bit is say I rotate left whatever bit is here so say if this is a one um, and we rotate it left by one it'll go all the way back down into the input here and that's how you rotate and rotate with no carry is just your standard rotation but when we rotate with carry this sh this should actually say through carry not with carry um, instead of rotating just from this bit going to this bit it'll actually use the carry flag and we'll rotate through that and this means um, you can do um, increased stuff like say I had say my computer was only an 8-bit computer only had 8-bit word lengths but I had a 16-bit number that I wanted to rotate. Um, you would rotate through carry, so you could rotate the whole 16-bit number. So first you'd rotate one 8-bit number, then you'd rotate the second, 
and and because you're saving the one of the bits in the carry flag um, it would um, rotate the whole number and this is useful for like um, memory mapping um, displays and stuff um, so yeah it's, it's a fairly useful thing however on my computer that I'm going to make I'm not sure if I'll include this because um, I might be going for a flagless design and the whole reason I'm going for a flagless design is because I want to try implement um, URCL specifically the flagless version of it um, which I'd, I'd recommend checking out mod punch tree on YouTube or I think the URCL discord has a lot more info on that and it's basically URCL stands for universal um, reduced computer language I'm pretty sure yeah, or redstone computer language I, I think it's now reduced but um, it basically is like a, it's a low level language that kind of just bridges the gap between different redstone CPUs and while it does have some problems um, I would I, I still think it's um, just a nice um, starter for a, a semi decent CPU that I'm going to try and make so let's actually give this um, a demo so well actually I'll, I'll go back down here because this one's easier to demo but say we put in a number real quick so say we have um, this number over here and these lamps are a bit actually misleading because they're one up um, over the thing so it's just a bit confusing but that's how we power the inputs it's a bit annoying but um, we can left and right shift this by just activating the different control wires so I think um, this one this one is right shift and as you can see any number here will be shifted down by one um, which is right shift then um, I think this one is left shift I see yeah that one's left shift then of course we have um, the arithmetic shifts um, so say I put a, a sign of one in um, and this pretend this is a well I mean this would be a negative um, signed integer um, because of this number over here uh, this would be the sign bit and if we shifted this oh if we did an arithmetic arithmetic shift um, right um, I think it's this one well we would normally I mean this would be a logical shift um, this bit would be replaced with a zero because we're just filling in with zeros but if we did an arithmetic shift right and we'd preserve the sign bit uh, with this lever over here and that's the same thing if this was say a zero um, and we shift it um, down by one the sign bit would be preserved as a zero and that's a it's a very simple mechanism to do that um, all you have to do is just take from the shift and just oh I mean I guess I'll explain this in a more in-depth video later probably <laughs> but yeah and then of course we can do the exact same thing um, shifting left but yeah that's not that's kind of the same as a logical left shift anyway so um, it would just be the same as that then we have um, left and right rotate um, without a carry um, and um, let's just put a number like this in to demonstrate it uh, yeah actually this this number will do and if we um, shift it left I mean if we rotate it left even so yeah, if we want to rotate this number, I think um, we activate this one, maybe. Um, it might not be this one. I think we just do a regular shift. So it's this left shift. Um, yeah, that was left shift. And then I think it has actually rotated because of this bit lighting up over here. Um, let me just check. Yeah, there we go. Because we rotated the number, um, this bit on the end, so we rotated left, this bit on the end goes all the way around and comes into here, as you can see, like that. And all the other bits just get shifted up by one. So it's, this is just rotating. And then we can do um, rotate right, just by doing a right shift and enabling the right rotate one, which was this one, I think and as you can see it's rotated right which if I do this that's a better example because then you can see that bit is actually rotated round um, and we can disable this one to show you how they line up and this one and this one line up so yeah that's just um, rotating and then for instance if we wanted to do um, rotating through the carry it would be fairly simple all you'd have to do is add a 
carry flag and then your carry flag would feed into your um the actual these lines over here which are the um left and right rotate um, bits over here so it, it would be fairly simple to add that as well though of course it's not on this design because um, i'm probably not going to have a carry flag on this cpu um which may add a few complications but i'm sure i'll be able to work it out so yeah um i hope you like this video and um i'll probably leave this all to uh, for a world download um, bear in mind, none of the lines are actually hooked up properly, so it will be very confusing working out what is what. And that's because while I was going to hook them up, um, just to some binary values, um, I've decided I probably should come up with some actual opcodes for this first, um, and an actual instruction set before I hook it up and um, mess things up. Uh, but yeah, um, please like and subscribe, and I'm out.